Hey, it's Sunflower Schley, and in this video I'm going to be explaining my thoughts and opinions on the new 2020 Schleich horses and some of the other animals as well. So let's get into it, and in no particular order, we're going to start with the Hanoverian Gelding Red Dun, and I think he's the exact same mould, I think, as the, what was it, 2018? I don't know, the last Hanoverian Gelding. I kind of like him in this colour, but I think Personally, I prefer it in the the bay or or ch chestnut, the brown version anyway. <laughs> so yeah, there's not much to say about him. He's exactly the same. I presume he he's the same in, in person as well, if that makes sense. Okay, so next we have the silver dapple mare, and from what I can see from the pictures that were given, she looks really really gorgeous, and I really want to get her. She just looks really pretty and you know she looks really well proportioned and everything which I think is quite good because some of these new ones the proportions are a little out in the past couple of years. I don't know whether it's the, whatever the breed looks like but she doesn't look very dappled. Is silver dapple a breed or is that supposed to be describing her? Let's let's google it. Okay so I think it's just a coat, co uh, coat colouring that's sort of just like grey dapples. But I'm not seeing any dapples on her. I don't know. Somebody somebody tell me about that if I'm wrong or whatever. Okay, so now we have the Soraya Mustang Stallion. I think that's how you pronounce it. And, you know, to be honest, he looks like pretty in proportion as well, actually. So that's pretty good. He's nice he's in a little um, gallop canter. I don't know. But he seems quite nice and I'd quite like to have this one as well because I want to know what he looks like in person. I've seen some people on Instagram have him and he looks pretty cute. So I think I might try and get him and then we can have a look and see what he actually looks like. Okay, so next, and forgive me for the pronunciation, but we have the Pura Raza Española stallion. I really like what they were trying to do with the pose, with, you know, his head down, his, his mane, kind of everywhere. I like that. I know it's not the most popular, perhaps, but I kind of like it and I think that either he'll look better in person or it'll look more weird in person if that makes sense. And I also like how they've branched out with the breeds a bit into ones we've never seen before, apart from obviously the Hanoverians, as opposed to just doing more and more Arabians. I mean, I love Arabians, but like, you know, let's have a bit of diversity. Okay, so next we have the German riding pony mare, and I don't think I would personally buy her. Again, maybe it's just because she's got a plaited mane and tail, and I don't usually like that. I don't really have much to say about her. My opinion's just kind of like, meh. I know she <laughs> she's quite popular and I think people quite like her. And I think that her markings are kind of cute. I think maybe her blaze and a little sock on her back foot there are just a little bit basic maybe? Don't come at me, but you know what I mean. But yeah, yeah, I mean, she's not too bad, not, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so moving on to the Hanoverian Fall Red Dun, and I did, I got curious, and I did some research on the colour Red Dun, and I think these Hanoverians are maybe just a little bit too pale to technically be Red Duns, maybe they're just really pale Red Duns, and I don't know, I can't see in the pictures if they have a dorsal stripe, so a stripe down their back, which I think is like the classic done thing? I don't know. I'm not an expert in, in horse colours, so if anybody has any more ideas about that, whack them in the comments and let us know what you think about this. Because I was just having a thought and now I'm not so sure. But the foal's cute and I don't think this model has been used before. But yeah, um, he, she, it's pretty cute and yeah, looks kind of kind of cute. That's cute, cute. I've said cute way too many times now. Okie dokie, so now we have the Pura Rada Española Young Horse, and I really like how Schleich has done not only a stallion and a mare, but also like a colt or, or young horse version of the same breed. I really like that, because I think for a long time they've always done like a male, a female and a foal for a family, so I really like how they've got sort of like younger versions of the same horse. I don't know how accurate this is to a young horse of that breed, but I think he looks pretty cute, or she, is it a she? I don't know they let's say they they look pretty cute and and you know like sort of alert and stepping forward which is quite nice i think they kind of look like they have similarities to the arabian models 
but obviously the thicker face wasn't dished and things, so yeah. Okay, so next up I know is one that's very popular. I did a poll on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, by the way. That's Sunflower Schlei. News. Um, I did a poll and this one came up as being very popular. It's the German riding pony Gelding. And I know I've said it before and I've said it a million times that I'm not a huge fan of the plaited mane and tail, but on this guy, I think it really works. I think he looks pretty beautiful and I, I want to get him so that we can have a look at him in real life because he looks pretty cute. Again, I think the, the, the socks are maybe a little too sort of stylized. There's no like hair details, but I think we can forgive it in the face of the fact that this is a pretty gorgeous horse and seemingly well proportioned. Okay, so next is the Pura Raza Española Mare, and to be honest, I'm not that huge of a fan. I've seen a couple of people um, who've got her already, um, and she does look just as sort of weirdly out of proportion in real life. I think her mane is really nice for being full and, and thick because it's always I think better to have like a really full mane than just have a little tiny weedy one but at the same time it makes her neck look really chunky there's, there's something that seems a little bit off about her maybe her legs are a bit too knobbly or something <laughs> I'm not sure on another note she kind of reminds me of a character called Nav Navisca I think from a web comic by Dalvia Art that you might enjoy if you've not already read. It's about this horse and she has to, um, she like runs away. I don't want to spoil the plot but it's really good and she kind of reminds me of her so just on a side note. Okay so next up is the new Hanoverian mare, black. I think there's now like three different colours of this same mould for this Hanoverian mare and I think she's a very pretty mould to be honest. I think she's nice but I'm not sure how much this one has changed because I swear there was already a, a black Hanoverian mare. I think maybe the, the markings have just changed just the slightest bit on this one. Okay, so I think the black version that I was thinking of is actually an exclusive. Okay, so there is technically an, another black one, but it's not official like this one, I don't think. Either way, I think she's, she's kind of nice in the sort of, you know, the same as always kind of way. Okay, so there we have it. Those are all the new horses. Um, there's also a load of new Yala, I think that's how you say it. There's loads of new unicorns, um, specifically unicorn foals, and they all have names. And to be honest, some of the way that they've painted them are pretty, pretty wacky, to be honest. I think a couple of them are quite nice, but there's some where they just have, like, blue legs or, like, a green hindquarters for some reason. So th that seems a little odd to me. There's also a load of new dinosaurs and... Anyway, they've got some new animals and they look pretty cute. Um, so yeah, overall, new horses, new animals. Um, I want to order some so that we can have a, a good look at them. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these new horses and what you think about life in general, I guess. Stick those opinions and thoughts and things in the comments and I'll read them and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.